complete meta business suite tutorial for beginners hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can use the meta business suite so having said that let's just jump into the video so what is meta business suite well meta business suite is facebook's new initiative where they combine all of facebook's products so you've got facebook advertisements you've got facebook ad manager facebook e-commerce manager you've got the other business applications you know so it's basically a one-stop shop for all of the, your applications that are related to facebook right so to get started with it you're gonna need yourself your own simple facebook account and once you have that we should be good to go we can go ahead and sign in into facebook meta center and we can get started with the business suite so here we go so we're gonna click on this one so here here is the Meta Business Suite. Click on that button and get started with business tools from Meta. So now you just simply log in with your Facebook account, right? So click on login with Facebook and log in with your Facebook account. And once you've done that, it's going to open up your Meta Business Suite, right? So as you can see, I've already created an account and I've already created a page. If you didn't have any page linked to your account, it'll ask you to create a page, right? And creating a page is actually pretty simple. You can see this is the Meta Business Suite page that I created. This is one of the business profiles that I have. So you can see right here, business portfolio, you can log out of it and, you know, create a new one. But since it's already here, pretty simple. You can create one yourself. It's actually pretty simple. So if you click over here, or you can just simply go over to your Facebook account, you can see right here, we've got all of the profiles and pages right here. You can create a new profile and page. And then when you log in into Meta Business Suite, you can go ahead and connect it. So once you've created that, you should be good to go right so this is the meta business suite and this is the meta business suite manager right you can just simply go over onto facebook and just simply search for meta business suite right it'll pop up right here meta business suite manager if you click over here and you know click on get started it'll take you right back over here so this is the main part of meta business suite this is where everything goes down right you can see over here on the left hand side all the tools that are available so you've got engaging audience you know you've got analysis and report manage here you can manage bills and payments and business apps you've got advertisement here you can see all the ad managers and e-commerce manager are down below you can see right here at the top ads manager billing and payments audience event manager and e-commerce manager so event manager is basically where you know you manage all of your ad managers and stuff like that so you can see this is the one place where you get everything you even got whatsapp manager down below as well so when using meta business suite usually people use it to manage all of their social media accounts and or manage their businesses that are connected with it so that they can run ads right so first things first you can see we have the adverts manager over here we've got inbox so let's go ahead and click on inbox here we will see facebook and instagram right so you can see instagram right here i've already connected my account but i logged out just so that i can go ahead and show you how you can log in again so click on the inbox settings click on instagram here click on connect instagram all right here you can go ahead and log in into instagram or you can create a new instagram profile totally depends on you so i'm going to log into instagram i'm going to click on continue and i'm just simply going to log in into my facebook account you also have to make sure that your facebook account is you know converted into business otherwise it might not work but uh, i'll see whether or not i can so i can add it because this account is not a business account right but yeah i think it's because i've reached my limit i don't know why let me try to connect try it again so this account is in professional mode you can see it because i have ad tools and all of that but if it wasn't you can just simply click over here go into settings right and over here you will see your professional account or at the bottom you will see an option that will say switch to a professional account or switch to a creator account you just simply click on it and it'll automatically you know switch your account into a professional mode so you can see it's already there so now let's go ahead and try to connect it again uh maybe i have reached my limit with that account i'm not sure but maybe i haven't let me check and here we go i believe this should be good to go from the connection allow the messages and just log in into the account once more the process is a little bit weird it sometimes you know ask you to do things certain things again and again i don't know why but yeah all right it says the connection has been confirmed so it should be good to go and there we go so now all of the messages that you might have over here 
they're going to appear over here as well. So all the messages are going to be over here, right? So Instagram messages are going to be over here. If you have connected your Facebook messenger, it's going to come over here. But as of right now, I don't have any messages on this account because this is a new account. But yeah, all the messages are going to be over here. So now we've connected our Instagram account. Now we can go ahead and manage it over here. So you can see right here, we've got the content planner over here. We can go ahead and manage all the content that we want. And here you can go ahead and, you know, manage all of your posts. So here you can see posts in real. Here you'll be able to see all the posts that you've published that you are going to publish that are being scheduled. The drafts expiring or expire, right? So here you can see all the posts. You can see how the reach of them. So we got 199 likes and reactions, comments and shares, right? So over here, you can even boost this post as well by clicking on the boost button. And, you know, it'll go ahead and take you over to the ad center where you can go ahead and boost your media. So get more likes get more views for on your profile you know all of that so you can see right here you can go ahead and set everything up so over here is going to be five dollars this is going to be the ad center account where you can go ahead and you know create a campaign or run the ad for the video or for your profile but yeah and then you've got your stories a b testing feed and grade mentions tag clips and everything so let's go ahead and get started with let's go ahead and you know create a reel or you know schedule a reel to post on our instagram so to do that you've got the create post button over here at the top corner you even got the create reel button so let's go ahead and do that so click on create reel we'll go ahead and create a reel so what we'll do is over here we'll create the video we'll add the media over here so the video is uploaded as you can see it's uploading right here now while it uploads we'll select where we want this video to be posted i'm going to post it over here onto my instagram story so now that it's uploaded we'll choose where we want to upload it we want to upload it to instagram we'll select that down below we can describe what it is so i'll just add the description right here that's you know added over there we'll paste that over there and then down below we can choose the thumbnail we'll choose this one because you know it has the main title as well so yeah i found these videos on tiktok they're pretty nice they're pretty cool so i'm just using this as an example so once we've added everything we've selected where we want we've added the media the caption reel right here you can see that then we just simply click on the next button now is the editing part here you can edit it if you want you can add the audio you can crop it you can add text as well you know add text to your video if you want to optimization if you have one audio optimization if you want but everything looks good i don't want to do anything else to it so then we'll just go ahead and you know we'll just add the optimization so yeah so next we can just simply go ahead and click on the share button and over here we can see this this is the public over here if you want you can even you know schedule it as well totally depends on you why can't i so okay so it has to be under specific you know length so right now it's actually quite long uh it says right here it needs to be under 90 seconds so let's go ahead and trim the video how do we do that or right, here's 700 it's quite long so i'll just trim it on to like 89 88 whatever that is then click on next then we can choose where we want to so privacy settings are disabled when ig cross publish is enabled so we'll have to fix that as well but for now we'll just schedule it and once that's done there we go we are good to go our post is now scheduled all right, so it didn't upload so i'm gonna do it again so now uh share now or schedule we'll schedule it and i'm gonna select facebook this time as well so we'll schedule it both so now we scheduled it for let's say 7th which is going to be today and scheduled it in an hour or so right then we just simply click on schedule and it's going to give it a couple of seconds right and your reel has been published according to your choices so it should pop up over here there we go so it is now you know scheduled and it'll post after the time has come so at 501 it's going to go ahead and go live so this is how you can go ahead and publish posts again this is the content over here you can go ahead and click on the planner section to go ahead and plan what you want so here you can see uh one of the posts that we have planned is scheduled to go ahead and you know be uploaded so we can go ahead and use that as well so next is your ads manager right if you click on ads it's going to take you over here to the ad summary here you can see all the ads that are currently running uh, you can see there are no ads created as of yet but you can create one by clicking over here on create ad button or go to the ads manager or adverts manager right here it's going to take you over here to the ad manager here you can select which profile which account or which page you want to run ads on so 
apparently this is the one that is selected it's loading up but we'll leave it at that so no ads account to show so make sure to change it so over here we'll select our account and we have the ads account right here so we'll select that see if that works it's going to launch the ad account and there we go so now we are here we've got the ad accounts now we can go ahead and create our ads for our facebook account or facebook business as well so pretty cool right another cool thing is that as i told you if you click on all tools it's going to open up the all tools so this was the advertisers we've got the event manager and you know as words manager as well we have the sell products and services option right here where we can see appointments e-commerce manager monetization and you know a bunch of other stuff so you can go ahead and click on the commerce option to go to the facebook commerce manager and here you will find your shopify products that you have created so these are some that i have already connected with here you'll find the application or the account that you've connected it to so this is the account on my instagram that i'm connected it to so i can just simply go ahead and click on continue to set up if i don't want this account i can just simply go back over here click on add account and i can add a whole new account right here and over here to get started with selling it on facebook and instagram over here select what you want right click on continue so select the platform so you've got shopify big commas channel advertisers freedomics magento product ups whatever right so we're going to select shopify and click on continue or click on next totally depends on you after that it's going to take you over to shopify where you're going to go ahead and download and install the pixel right or the shopify app or the facebook application onto your shopify store but i've already done that so i'm going to go back and i'm going to continue setup using the other account so right here so here you can see i've already done all of this i've connected the third party you can select the country select the sales channels as well which is going to be your facebook account or it's going to ask you where you want to sell facebook marketplace instagram shop where right so you can select whichever option you want and after that you you're gonna have to select the catalog so the catalog what is it so it is the catalog that you have uploaded onto shopify so you can see we've got shopify catalogs over here but we're gonna create a new one for now over here you're gonna add the items right so click on create new click on next and here you're gonna select what type of delivery and return options you want so you've got a bunch of options depending upon where you are and which country you've selected it's going to give you those options and those uh, shipping and delivering services so select accordingly to that and then down below just add the email opt-in this is optional if you don't want to use it don't worry then click on next oh i have to add at least one delivery option so let me just do this five options 51 options we'll just say five days and we'll just say standard and you can add the base rate whatever it is so we'll just say let's say ten dollars for delivery rate i don't know how much it is but let's go with ten dollars rate per edition items we'll just say five dollars per edition item and a basket minimum for free delivery should be at least thirty dollars and estimated delivery days we'll just say two to four days there we go if you want expedited right it's gonna cost you it's gonna cost you 20 bucks and a minimum of 30 and it's gonna be one to two days or actually one to three days express delivery is going to be the same delivery so zero to one day same this one is going to be 40 same five same with 30 and the dust is okay and return window you can set whatever you want and then click on next so there you go after that you've selected the country selected the sales channels you selected the catalog right and you selected your delivery options checkout method and everything and then you click on finish and your shop is good to go so this is how you can create your own shop on facebook using facebook meta suite or meta business suite so i'm going to cancel this right now because i don't want to create a shop it's just way too much options i'm just showing you what you can do so so there's tons of more options right you even got appointment options so for example if you want to set up appointments you can come over here uh you'll see all the appointments that you have set up for your business so people can come over here and you know set appointments for you as well you can set that up for your on your page or on your you know facebook page but yeah so let me just quickly wrap up and see where we got so i showed you how you can connect different facebook accounts right like instagram you can even connect whatsapp but we'll skip that for now show you how to where you can find the adwords manager right and i showed you how you can go ahead and get started with the commerce manager right the event manager is left so we're going to click on event manager and over here this is where basically you've got your pixel setup right you set conversions apis 
on your Shopify store, on your website, wherever you want to run, right? Here is where you'll see all of the information that are coming up from your websites, from your Shopify stores, from all over the internet, right? Wherever you've set up pixels. And here you can create different pixels as well. So if you click on connect data, you select the option that you want. You want the web one, app, or offline. Totally depends on use. We'll select web. Then select the existing data set, which you already have. You can see right here, these are the pixels right here. You can create a new data set by clicking on this button, right? And this will create a new marketplace and a new data set. But as of right now, we're good to go. We'll just select the ones that we already have, right? Then click on next and then enter in the website URL. I don't have one, so I'll just skip that for now. And then this is the pixel right here, right? meta pixel and conversion api or meta pixel only depends on you which option you want right and then click on next and now you can set up conversion apis to connect website activity to your meta business suite pretty cool right but yeah so you can set up with partner integrations or set up conversion api these aren't available so we'll just go with this one and then click on next and now you just select the partner that you want. So if you want Shopify, click on Shopify, give it a couple of seconds to load up and then connect your Shopify store. So you can see the instructions over here. Again, it'll basically tell you to download the application and then, you know, you should be good to go after that. You can verify the connection and boom, your pixel is ready. You can go ahead and get started uh, with your conversions. So a lot to go over, but yeah, most importantly, you basically know, but now you know how, you know, the Facebook meta business suite works. So First, create a page on your account. And when you come over here onto Facebook Meta Business Suite, make sure that all your other accounts like Instagram and WhatsApp, they're all business converted, right? Make sure your Instagram account is on business side. WhatsApp is business. And then you can easily connect with the Meta Business Suite. And then from here, you can go ahead and, you know, manage everything. You can check out content. You can check out the inbox, go with the live dashboard check out comments check out you know views on your website you can even boost posts you've got your ads manager even manager and e-commerce manager as well so pretty cool but yeah this is how you do it this is how you use the meta business suite so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye